This video will provide a step-by-step -step approach to creating a Microsoft Forms survey. Why should you use Microsoft Forms to create a survey? If you have a free office.com account or your company or school has given you an Office 365 account, you are able to create a survey for free using Microsoft Forms. A survey will help you collect data quickly so that you can then analyze it. Companies use it to receive customer feedback, but educators can also use it to check a class's understanding of a lesson or a topic. How do you create the survey? Once you have opened the Microsoft Forms app, you should click on the New Forms icon. You can then add a title to your survey by clicking on the Untitled Form. To add your first question, click on the green Add New button. Choice gives a range of options to select from. As with creating a quiz on Microsoft Forms, if you want the user to have the ability to select more than one option, then click on the multiple answers icon. If you require the user to complete this question before they submit their answers, you need to click on the required icon. If you want to mix up the answer options, click on the three dots icon and select shuffle options. The text option requires the user to write a response to the question. The rating option allows the user to select different levels. This could be given as stars or a number. The date option allows the user to input a date or select it from a calendar. There are more options if you click on the down arrow, such as ranking, uploading a file, or providing a scale for a user to choose an option. How do you add an image or video to a question? Click on the question you would like to add an image or video to, and then click on the green insert media icon. Here you can add an image or a video. If you want to add a saved image from your computer, click on image and click on upload. Alternatively, you can search the internet for an image. Once your search results have appeared, 
you can choose to only display the images with a Creative Commons license or not. Click on the image you want and then click the Add button which appears next to the search box. This will add the image to your question. If you want to make the image larger, click on the Edit icon on the bottom of the image and select Large. How do you change the settings in the survey? Click on the three dot icon near the green send or share button. Then choose settings from the menu. Select who can fill out the survey by clicking on the option you want. You can even schedule a start and end date to the survey. By selecting an end date, the survey will automatically close at a time you select. This will mean no more responses can be collected. I would recommend selecting the option to send an email receipt to each respondent. How do you change the background of the survey? You can change the appearance of the survey by clicking on the theme icon next to the green send or share button at the top of the screen. Forms' artificial intelligence will look through your survey and give you some background options to select from. Alternatively, you can click on the customised theme icon and choose your own colour scheme or select an image from your OneDrive or from the internet. How do you send the survey to others? First you need to click on the green send or share button near the top of the screen. Under the Send and Collect Responses section of the menu, select who has permission to complete the survey. Click on the green arrow pointing down to see your options. Click on the option that you want. You can then choose how you would like to distribute the survey. You can send a link by clicking on the Copy button. You can then choose how you would like to distribute the survey. If you want to share a QR code, Forms will create one for you and then you can download it. You can then place this into your presentation, documents or website. If you want to embed the survey into a website or learning platform such as Firefly, you can click on the embed icon and copy the code and then paste it where you want to display it. The last option is to send it as an email using your email client such as Outlook. How do you analyse the results? To see the results of the survey, Click on the Responses tab. This allows you to see a summary of the results, including some graphs or pie charts to help analyse the results. The results from the survey are updated in real time. To see the results from each respondent, Click on the View Results button.
Since I set the survey to not record the names of the respondents, forms numbers each respondent. However, you can view and print each answer individually. To download the results from the survey, you can click on the Open in Excel button on the Responses homepage. In this video, you have learned how to create a survey using Microsoft Forms, how to add different question types and media, change the appearance of the survey, change the settings of the survey, how to send it to others to complete, and how to review the responses. If you have found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and click on the notification bell.